Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to use infinite scrolling with Xamarin Forms applications. Infinite scrolling is useful when we have a list view that should display a large amount of data. What we want to, you, to do in this case is to only load the first 10 items in this list view, then when the user start to scroll up this list view, then at that time we'll go and load the second 10 items, he scroll up again, then we'll go and load the third 10 items of the list view and so on. I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP, and in this video I'll show you how to implement or how to integrate the infinite scrolling inside Xamarin Forms with Visual Studio. We'll start by creating a new Xamarin Forms application. For that, I choose new project. We select cross-platform and we make sure we select cross-platform app Xamarin Forms. We give our application a name, then we click OK to create the application. Then here, we select the .NET standard library instead of the shared project. Once the project is created, we'll go and create a new class. This is going to be our data service, which will return the list of the data to be shown in our uh, list view. So we call this one uh, data service. It will have a method called get items, I think. This method will get a list of static data. Uh, this um, in a real application should be getting data from a web service but here for the sake of this demo we'll just get a static data here we have a list of names then we'll get a list of a uh, sub list of those names by page size and page index so now we'll consume this data service from our main view model and the main view model here is a class that uses inotify property changes. I'm using code snippets here in order to implement this class. So you, so you won't see me typing each of those methods and attributes for this class. So here we have uh, our main view model. It have a property items that will show the list of the items inside our list views. So that's an observable collection. Then we do have the method download data async, which will call our data service to get the list of items to be shown. And that's for the first page, page zero. Now let's create the page that will use this view model in order to show that list of items inside a list view. So again, I'll use my code snippets to add the XAML code that I already prepared before starting this demo. So here we'll, we'll be binding our page to our main view model. And from here, the main view model or this page will have a list view. Item source is bound to the items from coming from the view model. And here, because items is of type string, so we don't have to type the, we don't have the name of property for that. We just use the point. So it's a simple XAML page that only will display list view. Now we want to add infinite scrolling to this list view. For that, I'll use a NuGet package. So I'll right click, add NuGet package and go to browse. Then make sure you check the include pre-release because the NuGet package we are gonna using is in pre-release -pre uh, version. So we type Xamarin Forms extended infinite scrolling and here it is our, um, our package. So then we hit um, install in order to add that package to our PCL. You see that here I'm adding it only to the PCL project, so I don't need to add it to Android or iOS project. Once it's added, now we can go back to our page and add a behavior. And again, here I'm using my code snippets. We add the behavior for the list view, which will be the infinite scroll behavior. This a behavior will add the feature for infinite scrolling and here you see we are using is busy property to say that our uh, list view is loading data now we need also to make some changes to our main view model so the first thing to do is to change our observable collection of items to use infinite scroll collection instead Infinite scroll collection is the one used by this uh, plugin. So with that change, you see that um, we do have an error. 
because we, now we cannot use equal new observable collection but instead we can use add range in order to add the new items for page 2 or page 3 and so on we need also to go to the constructor right from here and we'll add some code snippets for loading uh, more uh, items to our uh, observer to our list of uh, items and this is the code needed for that so we just need to subscribe or to um, to give an implementation for on load more so when when the list view detects that we have some more we need to load more items we'll go and uh, load more items by going to our data source then uh, select or uh, the num the page number that need to be uh, downloaded then we'll add those items to our onload more you see that here we have also another method on load on can load more which will be uh, check it in order to verify if our list view need to load more data or not here i'm using the the magic number 44 uh, that's the number of all the items i have it in my um in my um data service but in a real application that should be the number uh, given to you by your web service now let's uh, show that a message or that text saying that the list view is loading more items for that we'll add it to our list view footer and from the footer here we'll add that trigger to uh, display the data or to display the label or instead of that also to um, hide the label whenever the is visible property is set to false in this github repository you will find the source code for the infinite scrolling nuget package along with the documentation to get started and if you want to get the source code for the application that we have built today you will find it in my github repo under this url right here so I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you.